Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Jared Beckwith, I'm a registered EEG technologist and in today's video, I wanted to talk about the score that I got on the REEGT exam because it just came to my email and I wanted to let you guys in on the results. So before I took the test, I was really nervous. I didn't know if I was gonna pass or not. You know, I'm kind of, kind of a perfectionist a little bit, so I'm like, and I don't want to repay $700 because that's how much it takes to, it costs to take the board exam. So I was mostly freaking about, freaking out about the huge price. And I've heard that some people have failed it before and had to retake. And I'm like, no, this, this is a one and done thing for me, guys. This is a one and done thing. I'm going to take it once and I'm going to pass it and that's going to be it. So I got the results in the mail and looking at it, I would, I did better than I thought I did, guys. Instead of just barely passing, I scored over 90% of the questions right. There's 250 questions on the exam. I was over 90% in some of the categories. On the fundamentals, I think, I was 94% correct. And something about analysis, I was 97% correct. That's crazy. Waveform identification, like 92%. So I'm in over 90% on pretty much all the categories and I passed with flying colors, guys. I passed. And so I guess I could in the future work towards taking the CLTM exam since I'm interested in epilepsy monitoring. I'm not as interested in like surgery stuff, so IONM stuff. I did watch a temporal lobe resection once where they took out the part of the temporal lobe that was causing the seizures. That was a really interesting experience. I did that at my clinical site when I was a student. That was very interesting, but I think I'm mostly interested in the epilepsy monitoring portion. So I might go towards the, um, the CLTM credential next because my interests line up with, I guess, automatic detection of epilepsy using a computer program that I'm creating. So that applies much more to the epilepsy monitoring unit and the LTM space. So back to the exam that I took, how did I get such a high score on the exam? Well, I'm giving away the secrets here. If you didn't watch my video on how to study for the exam, I'll go back and watch that. I'll put the link in the description of my YouTube. So when taking a test, you have to have a strategy. You have to come in with the game plan. You can't just study random stuff You'll be studying random, obscure neuroanatomy questions. You'll be st studying random things, and they might not even be showing up on the test. So in order to make sure I was studying the correct things with the end goal of passing the test, what I did was I went to the Aberrett website, the people who give out the test in the first place. They have these practice questions called ASAP, ASAP. I took those practice questions. It cost me $60, but they give you access to practice questions that are very similar to the exam. And I took 100 question practice tests and I wrote down the answers to the questions that I got wrong every single time on loose leaf sheets of paper. I kept a folder of those and I would go back and study all the questions that I got wrong over and over again, just reading them, reading them, reading them over and over again until they sunk into, into my brain. And then when I would take practice tests again, then I would be scoring over 90% on the practice tests and then when I transferred over into the real exam, well, guess what? I scored over 90% on the real exam as well. So it really paid off. In the beginning, I was scoring, I think, 69% in the beginning. So that wouldn't have passed. And that was a practice test. I wouldn't have passed if I just went in and took the real exam straight out of school with no studying. So studying over and over again, I might have took um, maybe 10 100 question practice tests. And that's probably a thousand questions in total. And I spread it out over days. So I'd take about two practice tests per day. And, and then I would actually go back and study the ones that I got wrong because you don't need to restudy stuff that you already know. Cause that's one thing I think when you're studying, you're studying the easy stuff that you kind of already know. You're like, oh yeah, PDR, blah, blah, blah. Guys, you got to study the stuff that you don't know so that you can get better and improve your score. So. Go to the source of the people who created the test, study their practice questions, go through them. Once you're consistently scoring over 90% on the practice test, boom, go take the real test. You'll probably score over 90%, pass with flying colors, and you won't have to retake the test and pay another $700. So I just want to help you guys out. If this helps you out, make sure you hit the like button. I really appreciate it. 
comment down below if you need any help passing your exam. I'll try to help you out the best I can. You can message me on LinkedIn, YouTube comments, wherever. I'll try to help you out. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.